Hello and welcome to my channel, where I talk about all things related to space exploration and technology. In this video, I'm going to explain how SpaceX designs and builds its Raptor engines, the most advanced and powerful rocket engines ever made. The Raptor engine is a full-flow staged combustion engine that uses liquid methane and liquid oxygen as propellants. It is designed to power the Starship and Super Heavy vehicles, which are SpaceX's next-generation reusable launch systems that aim to enable human colonization of Mars and beyond. The Raptor engine has several advantages over traditional rocket engines, such as higher efficiency, lower cost, greater reliability, and better performance in different environments. It can also throttle from 20% to 100% of its thrust, which allows for precise landing maneuvers and rapid reusability. But how does SpaceX design and build such a complex and innovative engine? Well, it's not easy. It takes a lot of engineering, testing, and iteration. Let's take a look at some of the steps involved in the process. The first step is to define the requirements and specifications for the engine. This includes factors such as thrust, specific impulse, mass flow rate, chamber pressure, nozzle expansion ratio, operating temperature, and so on. These parameters determine the overall size, shape, and performance of the engine. The next step is to create a conceptual design of the engine using computer-aided design software. This involves modeling the geometry and structure of the engine components, such as the combustion chamber, the injector, the turbo pumps, the valves, the plumbing, and the nozzle. The CAD model also helps to visualize how the engine will fit inside the vehicle and how it will be integrated with other systems. The third step is to perform computational fluid dynamic simulations of the engine. This involves using numerical methods to solve the equations of fluid flow and heat transfer inside the engine. The CFD simulations help to optimize the design of the engine by predicting its performance, efficiency, stability, cooling, and combustion characteristics. The fourth step is to manufacture prototype parts of the engine using various methods such as 3D printing, machining, casting, forging, and welding. The prototype parts are then assembled into a test article that resembles the final engine. The test article is then mounted on a test stand and connected to sensors, instruments, and control systems. The fifth step is to conduct static fire tests of the engine. This involves igniting the engine and firing it for a short duration while measuring its thrust, pressure, temperature, vibration, and other parameters. The static fire tests help to validate the design of the engine and identify any issues or anomalies that need to be fixed or improved. The sixth step is to iterate on the design and testing of the engine based on the feedback from the previous steps. This involves making changes or modifications to the engine components or parameters and repeating the steps until the desired performance and reliability are achieved. The final step is to integrate the engine into the vehicle and prepare it for flight. This involves installing the engine into the Starship or Super Heavy stage and connecting it to the propellant tanks, avionics, guidance systems, landing legs, fins, flaps, and other components. The vehicle is then transported to the launch site and undergoes various checks and tests before liftoff. And that's how SpaceX designs and builds its Raptor engines. It's a remarkable feat of engineering that pushes the boundaries of rocket science and technology. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more space-related content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.